I think it just gets better for the, the dredge deck. I mean, Caleb gets a Gaddick to get most. Yeah. He could maybe board in Metamorph if he wants to, but I don't think that's that exciting. Looks like Caleb went on Wild Nicodle. Again, being on the play doesn't really alter the game progression. Alright, so turn one Nicodle, turn two Pride Mage. And Nick points to the Pride Mage. I'm not really sure why, but it should be four damage. Yeah. And that's one of the best starts you can ask for. Four damage on turn two. We said that about last game, though. Yeah, I mean, and even then, it just didn't matter. So Nick, oh, he discards, and then he street rates. Ooh, this is going to be one of those games. Yeah, when they have street rates, it seems insane. That's why I think Jataxian Pro might be the place to turn for this deck, yeah. uh, in addition to street rates. Yeah. It's because it creates these nuts hands. So Bridge from Below, Cabal Therapy, Icarid, Golgari Thug, Love another Cabal, Cabal Therapy. Oh, man. Insane. And so Nick sitting at 14 life already from cycling that Street Wraith, taking hit from that Wild Nicodle. And now he still gets a dredge normally because that Street Wraith is just the cycling. Let's see. What is Nick going to choose to do here? He's got that Golgari Thug he could dredge. He could exile. Okay, so he was going to exile the Street Wraith, bring back the Icarid, yeah. and then dredge the Thug. I think that's what he wants to do, get some zombies in play. See, you know, keep his life total at a reasonable amount. Let's see. And down comes Inkle Leviathan. Off the dredge, flips a bunch of cards, see Shambling Shell, see Gigapede, see Dread Return. Gigapede could be important here. It could be important. I haven't heard that one since, uh, I don't know, like the days of Blue Green Madness. Back when you used the fairway and just beat down the wake decks, or was it wake, it was tog decks, or whatever it was at the time, just over and over and over with the 6-1 shroud. <laughs> Six, such shrouds. Such shrouds. So, these days, we just use it for the ability. Mana cost is irrelevant. So, kind of funny that it's an Odyssey block card, not a, or an onslaught block card, not an Odyssey block card. <laughs> of course. So, uh, Cabal with Therapy. Cabal Therapy going to get a zombie token. And Nick looks over what well, he's got there. See a, a Pride Mage and a Grim Lava Mancer. And Grim Lava Mancer is going to be pretty key here. The well, Lava Mancer, if it gets active, can kill Caleb's own creatures that turn off Bridge from Below. Right. Which is very relevant. Plus, it provides a little bit more reach than Caleb usually has. Yep, that too. Uh, if Nick had the option, it might be worthwhile to flashback and hit that Lava Mancer. Yeah. He names Swords of Plowshares. But uh, clearly there weren't any in the sand, or in the Caleb's hand, rather. And Icarid goes in the graveyard, and looks like we're flashing yeah, back yeah. another one. Yep. Young Grimlob Mancer this go. time. Still 1-2-2 two, two zombie left in play. Uh, yes. It's hiding uh, under the open series in Cincinnati sign, where the zombies seem to like to hide these days. Yeah, they really do like to hide there. <laughs> Jump out, surprise you, and you're like, oh, I think this maybe is pretty even. Nope, just attacking for six more. They're the uh, cheaty face of zombie tokens. And five gets in, dropping Nicholas to nine life. Caleb being on the play is certainly, uh, with the straw, certainly helped him out. He's always on Arthur. the play. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, actually. Caleb being on the draw. Caleb being on the anything. Uh, you're Tarmogoyf for the turn. All right, Tarmogoyf, like, Goyf is huge. The stack is so strange, you can't even say someone's on the play so they have the advantage. Because the deck wants to draw first. And therefore the opponent wants to draw first. But even if they draw first, you know, the opponent always gets the same number of turns before the dredging starts every game. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like playing is like an automated time bomb. Yeah. That's what I imagine it feel like. All right. I think the my opponent's playing Ascension and I'm playing Magic Line is uh, probably the best. Yeah. So returns uh, Phantasmagorian, discards three cards. Two Gigapedes and uh, Grave Troll. Yep. Presuming Grave Troll's coming right back for the turn. Yep. Grave Troll gets dredged. And flips over six new cards. Stink we Amp, Nether Shadow, Ooh, yeah. Cabal Therapy, Icarid, Nether Shadow, Bridge mm -hmm. from Below. This is that's a pretty good flip right there. It really is. And once again, you can put the Nether when you're with the cards you're dredging, put the Nether Shadows in right whatever in order you want. So you put your creatures on top on top of them. That's my recommendation. So uh, I think that the Sicker is just going to get Cabal Therapy on the remaining Pride Mage that Caleb has, and uh, get a bunch of zombie tokens. Yeah, get a bunch of chum block tokens. And then on your next turn, you can maybe return a bunch of nether shadows and just start gumming up the board. Go, then, I believe the phrase is, uh, buck wild. 
Is that oh, a, yeah, that's a Dark Moor salvage from hand for that point. Is that yes. the official terminology? Yes. Oh, is there a returning graveyard? Did we hit one of those earlier? Uh, we did hit a Judd return earlier. Ooh, that is a lot of zombies. It's zombie time. Un Ink Leviathan. Ink Leviathan. Can't target that one. It's got a shred. That one cannot block that one. Well, he can block that one. There's no islands in play currently. Oh, there are not? Oh, it's, that's a taiga. Not a, I'm used to a tropical plateau. Uh, Nick is pointing to Krizali Pride and he just keeps it's like he's curious as to exactly the nature of that card. So okay, so he's gonna sacrifice the Icarid to flashback to ball therapy. Getting three zombies. We get three zombies in the process. So many zombies. Um and some zombies, a card. No, everyone's talking about how you know get taxing card opens you up to mental mist stuff. You don't have to cast it. It's still optional. And there's Inkwell Leviathan. And his uh and his zombie, zombie horde. I was trying to make a pirate reference to zombie crew. I don't I have nothing good. Yeah. <laughs> Ink Inkwell Leviathan is uh, Davy Jones. Yeah, that's a pretty accurate one. Yeah, yeah there we go. <laughs> I know I hadn't seen enough Pirates of the Caribbean movies to really comment on that. Equal <laughs> 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 I think is the Davy Jones with the zombie crew. All right, let's see if uh, they can get it done. Unleash the, the Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, looks like a dried arbor in play. Just more creatures. Just trying to make sure that this starts to become a real fight. Right. Well, the other thing about dried arbor is. It's easy to pick off, and if yeah. Caleb manages to find another reliquary, he can sacrifice it to yeah. turn off. He did uh, that bridges. last game? Yeah. It's a tricky little play. They're not good bridges that time, but. Uh, let's see. Oh, man. <laughs> One non foil gigapede left in stock. That's insane. That's unreal. It's absolutely crazy. The cards from this deck are selling out like crazy. It's. Uh, I'm, I'm sure gigapedes will still be available somewhere on the internet. It's not like a candelabra. There's, there's enough gigapedes to go around to everyone who wants them. But uh, I mean, just just you wait. Hundred dollar gigapedes. Attack, attack with three, three screws, all pride mage. Uh, I think you're gonna see some blocking. Yeah. This <laughs> is very. Fling it across the. What's room. wrong with blocking with uh, seven nope. ten there? Lose your bridges. Uh, lose your bridges. You don't want that to happen. That, need one more turn of bridges to really get where you yeah, want to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's why I had you explain it. And that's why Dredge is so weird. Yep. Like, you, bridge, bridge, like you just never want to cast. Like I've cast Bridge Below exactly once for a card that I've played so much. Wait, how did? Why did you cast it? So my opponent engineered close is on three, oh. and I like stink weed a couple stink weed imps to play. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Cute, I had cute. no, I had no discard outlet. It's back in standard when you do things the hard way. Back in standard when you were life on the long or, real. I think it was extended actually. Oh. But. Our, my, my experience with standard dredge was uh, dredging life on the to cast grave for the left. You dredge it again and again and again. Looks like Nicholas hits a Narc Amoeba. Uh, there's a Narc Amoeba. And Another Cabal Therapy. And now the board is so clogged up. I don't know how Caleb's going to get through this. Yeah, I think the real problem, like, if Nick just loses these Icarus online stuff, I think the game is just over. Yeah, I, as long as he doesn't let like, Caleb, like, Block and untrigger those bridges. Yeah. That's nine zombie tokens. Yeah, I think he has three bridges, right? Uh, one, two, two or three. Enough bridges. That's the key, actually. Enough. <laughs> uh, looks like he's gonna sacrifice Narcan, but maybe do some Cabal therapy action. Really? Sacrifice Narcan, but all right. Sacrifice Narcan, but Cabal therapy. Get some zombie tokens. Seize two glands. <laughs> Caleb shortcuts. I don't think he even named a card. <laughs> He's like, look, look, we're good here. I I know I gotta play this one out to the end, but I mean, this time I'm actually that is not like hive mind or anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's just crashing with everybody. Yeah. He named swords flashers again. Mm. With that cool therapy. So. Nick chooses to crash in with everybody. Does this open him up? Does anything? I think that at this point it's just too far gone for Caleb to Six, really... seven, eight. I don't know. I mean, if he just waits a turn and lets his Icarus die... Yeah, I, you know, I don't... 
I mean, how much damage is, is he open to on the crack back here? Uh, zero because of the tokens. There's there's zombie tokens oh, hiding even further I, away. <laughs> dude, they just keep retreating and retreating further down the table. That's three bridges down there. And some Icarus probably dying. Alright, and now Caleb's at two life. Needs to draw something pretty miraculous here that isn't in his deck. Needs Nick to uh, choose to let him gain one and then uh, Nick pay taxes to him, right? He needs Nick to uh, drop from the tournament. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Icarus should not be in play, but. Uh, Icarus should not be in play, that is yeah. true. However. Yeah, he's oh he's sacking his fetch lines for the concession. All right, that's it. And congratulations uh, to Nicholas yeah. Rausch. Nicholas Rausch with Manalist Dredge is your Star City Games Legacy Open Cincinnati champion. Wow. Oh, never mind. Let's rephrase that. Uh, so it sounds like uh, Nicholas conceded to Caleb before the rounds. Oh. Uh, they, they wanted to play out the match, see what would happen, but Caleb probably needed the open points. Yeah. So, uh, but regardless, uh, Nicholas Roush will always be the champion of this tournament in yeah. my eyes. Yeah, Madeline Stredge is uh, really proving itself here. Yeah, Losing actually only to Leyline of the Void in matches. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah, he lost one match today and it was the double Leyline of the Void. Absolutely uh, insane. A few things happened here to really open up Madeline Stredge, you know. Lack of sideboard cards, uh, mental misstep actually really helps the deck. You know, not only does it make the other decks, you know, more.